Now, bike riders start out being more vulnerable. They don't only have to stay on the track, they have to try to stay upright as well, which isn't always easy. Even top-class men like Randy Mamola can lose their sense of balance for a second, and that's all it takes. Sometimes, of course, the rider can lose his balance before the bike does. Long, long before. Like Australian Malcolm Campbell looking for his Honda right now. And here's the result of a gentle nudge at Donington that gave Rob McKelney the chance to run right over Steve Hislop's crash helmet with no lasting effects. But a friendly nudge in the ribs doesn't always have such an extreme penalty for the nudger as it does for the nudgee. In this case, Giancarlo Falapa and the unlucky Ramo Vartinen. So while Andy McGladdery parts company with his Honda RC30 at Goddard's, Let's have another longer look at how that elbow unseated Vartinen and that strange magnetic force from the tyre wall exerts its irresistible pull. And in the distance, you can see Falapa almost getting his just, if slightly less uncomfortable, desserts. Frenchman Thierry Crine managed to stay out of the tyres, but that's small consolation. We'll take another look at that in a moment. But first, Falapa takes the corner again, and with no one to push him around, but it's not him we're watching nor even Terry Ryman, number 10. But the man behind, who simply can't stay out of the tyre wall. And it's not just tyres that have this strange attraction. Almost any inanimate object can have the same effect, like this cone at Goddard's, calling to Tim Bourne in a voice that just can't be ignored. Considering the speeds, it's amazing that so few riders get hurt. But in fact, they make it look easy, almost as easy as, well, falling off a log. Although sometimes, you don't so much fall off as jump off. Here's Terry Crine again, same accident, different camera angle, and you can see the way he rose over the handlebars in complete contrast to Tim Bourne's amazing nosedive onto his cone. A fine save this, and one that ought to get him a place in goal with any first division club.